Oh my god, did she have to write everything in a made up Jewish code? Fucking Marshall, you serious bullshit, God. Marshall abandons us. What do you know about this Arish guy? I heard some ranger saying he saved from the maidens. They were attacked by a new kind of disc and a Arish guy. All right, but still. A security guard leading rangers? I don't know if I like taking orders from a mob cop. They marched through here. Why the fuck didn't we put a bullet in that thing's head? I heard it's the director's brother. Would you shoot your brother? That's no one's brother anymore. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you to stop be true. That? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop copy. it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. 
<laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for a pause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I hear worms of tune, you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic, so safe, nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in to get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The Hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the keycard to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the Hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go but only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. The thunder you are a worm through time. The thunder song distorts you. Happiness comes, white burns, the yellow and red. the director restored HRA production. They're already getting other survivors out of sequence. Great. Maybe I can get back to my office soon. Fuck, if they're in there, we go around that way. I no. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? Well, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where. Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have brought back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Stop by any time.
Mark Gibson, male, age 28, returned from the astral plane approximately 13 minutes ago. This was his 21st dive. Patient is experiencing migraine-like pain, intense pressure behind the eyes, and partial blindness. He has no recollection of his time in the astral plane and appears severely disoriented. Preliminary examination revealed no immediate cause, so we will be sending the patient for x-rays and... What the fuck is that thing? Kind of burst right out of him. Call Black! Get Marshall!
wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Ordinary. Finding the projector so will. Much coming together in this one case, uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. I, the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six, and the sister as well. But well, once we catch up with her, but the the boy. So much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name. But it's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. There was an incident. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that project. All the times I felt paranoid. I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Very different ones, sure, but both in a cell of some sort. Am I out of the cell now, or is all this, the house and being the director, just another cell? Who's really in charge here?
We're going back home. Of course we are. It started there, and it's... never gone away. There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby.
listening to America Overnight, celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. Thanks for staying with us. Here's our first call. What I'm about to tell you, they found out. I don't know what would happen. You found out, brother. The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident. But this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This certainly doesn't sound very ordinary, Colin. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. But that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the language, caller. Maybe 2 a.m., but there's still a fun show. I, I'm sorry. It's just, my brother was there. They said the town was destroyed, but it wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm... I'm not sure. The same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Hor Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. The government said they were fleeing guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction, as predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Wendy. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. And good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying. <laughs>
found the slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? They say when you visit your childhood home, everything feels small. Like a miniature, not real. They got that right. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Zane. What? I don't know. No matter. It suits you very well, the poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um, it's this. I feel an emptiness, a yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No, no, Dulu's not dead. And that's not even it. You were referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse. It felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown? That you believe Polaris caused? No. It wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident, and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No! It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from... I don't know exactly, but they took Dylan. They... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something, something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. here in the middle of New York, and nobody saw a thing. Pretty unbelievable.
We should check that lab. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next.